Good morning, everybody. Uh, this post is quite a bit different than what I would typically make, but uh, it's coming up on my birthday in November, okay? And every year on my birthday, <clears throat> I raise a fund, I have a fundraiser, all right? And uh, if you take a, take a look at the little guy that you see in this picture here, uh, five years ago, he was diagnosed with a super rare childhood cancer. It's my grandson. He lives in California. Uh, so he came down and it was discovered he had this super rare childhood cancer called hepatoblastoma, a word that I wish I never heard, and I'm sure his parents uh, as well. Uh, it's the worst thing any parent could ever hear that your, your child is sick. Uh, one in 1 1.6 million kids a year get diagnosed with hepatoblastoma. It's a, a rare form of liver cancer. So after two years and a couple of invasive surgeries and way too much chemo, to even count uh, by the grace of God and, and his physicians and his health care. Uh, he's a healthy, normal little boy. Now, uh, during the chemo and the cancer treatment, uh, the parents have to make a hard decision. So the doctors come to them and they say, okay, do you want your child to have hearing loss or do you want him to have heart problems? Because depending on what kind of chemo we give him, they it's going to go one way or the other. So what kind of decision is that for any parent to make? But in, in this case here, the, the parents chose uh, hearing loss, not deafness, but hearing loss. So that's been, a, that's been tough for him because uh, he doesn't hear certain sounds or letters and his speaks a little bit off, but he's getting better with time and he's learning, learning to work his way through that. Uh, so that probably was the lesser of two evils, right? And uh, hearing loss is probably a lot better than, than heart problems. So, but I want to tell you that uh, not, every, not every child is as lucky as uh, Graham was, all right? And uh, if he wasn't living where he was living near uh, the hospital that he went to, which was the top childhood cancer hospital in the country, he might not be here today. And that's tough to say. So I have this fundraiser and it's for kids like him and all the other kids that didn't have the same outcome as he did. So uh, I ask for your support, just a little donation, even if it's a dollar. So then I wanna say God bless all the little children have these serious health issues and I pray for their complete recovery and ultimately for the strength of their parents to get through it because this is so hard. And it's because of this that for my birthday this year, I'm asking for donations to the Lucille Slater Packard Children's Hospital at Stanford University. I've chosen the nonprofit because the mission means a lot to me. And I hope you'll consider contributing as a way to celebrate with me. Every little bit will help me reach my goal. I've included the information about the Lucille Salter Packet Children's Hospital at Stanford below. And uh, just so you know, Stanford Children's Health is the only healthcare system in the San Francisco Bay Area that's able to deal with these types of diagnoses and one of the few in the country exclusively dedicated to pediatric and obstetric care. Thank you, and God bless.